running speed has increased and its balance has been enhanced for both climbing and hopping. A key part of these both improvements are in the controlling and adapting to the reactive force of the ground when walking or hopping. Achievements in those areas are further evidenced in Osimo's kicking power, which has become significantly stronger. Now compared to version 2, version 3's kicking power is surprisingly strong. Now if some of you have seen version 2 kick the ball, it'll kick from a stationary position, the ball will come very gently to the receiver. But what you're about to see is Osimo is actually going to address the ball, so it's going to take two steps back and come forward with a much more forceful kick, which makes my job as a goalie much more difficult. The reason why I can kick the ball that strongly is directly linked to its improved running speed. Now, in addition, it can, now, it can maintain its balance against the reaction force from kicking the ball. Now, I mentioned the increase in the dexterity in Osimo's fingers, allowing for greater flexibility in usage. But Osimo also has great sensitivity in the fingers, allowing it to perform much more delicate tasks. Now that we've talked a little bit about lower body, we're going to uh, segue over into what the improvements we've made to Osimo's hands. Now, as we mentioned earlier, our dream is that Osimo interacts with people in a household setting and helps with common chores and tasks. We mentioned the increase in the dexterity in Osimo's fingers, allowing for greater flexibility in usage. But Osimo also has great sensitivity in the fingers, allowing it to perform more delicate tasks. Here we have a hard plastic bottle on the left and a soft paper cup on the right. First, Osimo sees and understands that there is a cylindrical bottle on the table, and then reaches out the hand toward it, and grasps it using an appropriate grip strength by reading values from the force sensors embedded in the fingertips. As Osimo opens the cap, it applies the forces evenly on each fingertip using the feedback from the force sensor. Likewise, when Osimo puts the cap on the table, it uses input from its force sensors to determine if the cap has touched that. Osimo's sensors in the hand determine the force needed to pick up the paper cup as well, but not only reading them to allow it to pick up the cup, but also making sure that it doesn't use too much force and crush the paper cup. Orange juice in there, by the way. huge advancement in the area is in the area of communication. For Honda to achieve the ultimate goal of Osimo being used in a home-based setting to help people, communication has been a critical part of Osimo's development. Since 2002, Osimo has been able to verbally communicate with others. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming today. Now, in a major enhancement to the new Osimo, we can speak in American and Japanese sign language making greater use of the increased degrees of freedom in the hands that we mentioned earlier. This is the sign for hello, everyone. This is the sign for I study American Sign Language now. And Asimo says thank you. And this concludes the technical part of our presentation, and now I would like to share with you something else. Osimo is also about fun and interaction with humans. This, this is why Osimo can also dance. This is an example of the fluidity of Osimo's motion and movements. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you for coming today. Well, there you have it, the all-new awesome humanoid robot.